Hi guys, take three. <laughs> it's been my whole morning trying to videotape these journals. Anyway, um, this one is a uh, Mod Podge with a napkin that I got, I think, from like Dollar Tree. Maybe Hobby Lobby, I don't know. It has the eyelet seam binding closure that you just tie together. I have pamphlet stitch with um, twine. It's the back. All pages have been distressed with Tim Holtz vintage photo or maybe the walnut ink. Okay, so I'm just going inside. All of the vintage um, lace has been um, stitched by machine. Mostly zigzag. And I like that black showing up like that. Stickers with some little bit of gold. I put little flecks of gold in here. Do all things with great do do small things with great love is on the mason jar. Just a bit of stamping. I'm gonna go even faster because I'm sick of doing this video. I um printed this off the internet because I don't have the stamp and I love that saying. Rita Donnelly flip up. Perfect. All pages have been coffee stained. Stamping is all done with stays on that brown kind of color. I think these are wallflower but it was just scraps or tags I already have I don't know I like the way these flip open and they say different things miracles and stuff like that there's my little bird the crown glassine envelope with extra paper little pocket that I colored crown I always have a crown stitching I love the way the stitching shows up on the back that's why I do it as well the texture is just I just love it and it's so grungy store begins I love those tags I bought them from Michaels and then I just stitched all around this by the um inseam binding and I just tied the binding off nothing special on it then I stamped be happy and colored it in with those souffle markers and yes indeed I love vintage Flip up. probably gonna quit talking because I have done this video three times today and I still got to do the other one. If this one comes out good. Let's keep it. This actually came as a mess up. I don't know what I did wrong. But I love it now. Like I stamped the corner pocket. And that came as a gift with something I bought. I don't remember what I did wrong. But it was wrong. And I just had to fix it. It came out cute. Love the stenciling. Damn it. I try to stamp a lot because that also gives me inspiration besides just writing. Sometimes I don't want to just write. I'll just look through the books for inspirational quotes before I even write anything. Mm -hmm. I did. Coloring, a little coloring. Love her. So pretty. Itty bitty tag, that's a die cut. And I pretty much do most of my stamping on the um the pattern paper, not the plain coffee die because it seeps through the back. Another one of those double pockets. Life's beautiful. A little butterfly. Come on, a butterfly. Love that little double pocket. Colored in. I love the coloring into it. Breaks up the monotony of just being coffee stained and distressed. It kind of gives it a little bit of color. Extra paper. It is a stencil. Itty bitty tag. 
string is actually stitched, um, a coin envelope stitched. It has little flowers colored in, got a colored in, and a tag. Another altered paper clip. Original. Just another side pocket. Need to be the tag. Zip out. I didn't do anything to this one except distress it because didn't want to glue on that pocket or anything like that because the images were so pretty. I stamped that heart and colored it. Okay. There's my little check of gold in my jelly bean pocket. This is from Yvonne. Stamped on the back of that. That's the back of the tag. Pick up. Belly band. Stamped on the banner. These have three signatures. Okay. Oh, that's a real pocket. <laughs> Not a flip. back. I didn't put anything in it, but I will. Okay, so hopefully this video will come out much better. And thanks everybody for watching.